Well, it's finally snowing, and uh, it's a great thing because it finally actually feels like winter. We have uh, more of it on the forecast. In fact, a lot of this trip will be snow because uh, weather calls for a snowstorm. Anyways, we're heading to this lake that I've always wanted to explore. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I've seen it from afar, but I've never been down to it. We got the hot tent out I'm with my brother Max and my dad Alan. We're out here for a few nights, cooking, camping, exploring, just hanging out, enjoying ourselves in the snow. So we hiked around the lake for a bit, couldn't really find anything great. There was an area in between the last lake and this lake that, uh, that was relatively flat and was surrounded by hardwood. So we think that's gonna be the spot where we're gonna camp. Just camp here. Two minutes. I got a block on here. Well, I need all three black ones. Okay. Stove for left to warm it up. It's definitely, I think it's water. Yeah, there, there we go. These edges were wedged in to the. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spin her around. There we go. Just like because I'm also trying to keep them out of the snow. Oh, Throw them in bang them off. Or what? You can just bang them off. Well, I mean, don't be such a sissy. My father raised me to be a sissy. A few wet things. Yeah, it's well. That's the beauty just, of the hot tent, right? Yeah. Huh. <sighs> this uh, the whole back is getting cold. It must be soaked through. Mm -hmm. There you go. Great. Change. This is pretty wet. Oh wow, that's soaked. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Eh? Yeah. that was absolutely soaked. Yeah, that'll dry out in here overnight, though. Yeah, it's soaked that. through. Soaked through, through. Yeah, look at that. Whoa, eh? that's really bad because down once it's wet, it's useless. Well, yes, exactly. No, it's got to. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not gonna wear this. So you just gotta get that heat going. It won't do that until the heat. I haven't smoked anything in a long time. This chair's pretty great, actually. This is a great chair to smell your own farts in. <laughs> that wasn't just God, a that, fart. <laughs> that, could have been a, that could have been dangerous. <laughs> I don't think I'm just using this moment. Yeah. <laughs> So happy to be in here with you. <laughs> so we are in the midst of the most pathetic cooking session that I think I've ever been a part of. The stove here has a, a warped top and so it's making very little contact with the, the pan, especially when you put it in the middle. So these sausages are just underwhelming as hell. Sausage is done, kind of. It looks undercooked, but um, it is cooked fully through. We checked, though it's it was like a slow cook. Intentional slow cook sausage, the way most people do it. <laughs> Sounds good, the way you say it. <laughs> slow cook sausage. <laughs> Give me a
Ice is not bad. Yeah, it looks so good, boy. Oh, you don't, you don't need any of the ice. It'll just take a little longer to... to Let's see if that works. Yes, no, yes, yes. There's a piece that Max cut down earlier. I'm just gonna haul back to camp. Wood. Yeah, that's good wood. So you'd think you'd be able to get all the snow off the logs by just knocking them together. It does an okay job, but check it out. Still tons of residue, so Max brought one of these brushes and it just kind of gets the extra little bit of snow off. So when you put it into the stove, it just ignite a little quicker, you know? Quarter to midnight, we're finally getting into bed. That was a full, that was a full day. Full day of work. Yeah. Sleep's gonna be great. Fun activities planned for tomorrow. Actually, we have nothing planned tomorrow. That was a, that was a lie. But we're in a beautiful spot. So uh, looking forward to getting up to whatever we get up to tomorrow. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for us. So uh, see you in the morning. Good night. said before and I'll say it again I'd never take a sponsor onto this channel that I didn't use personally and this is a product that I drink daily I've been drinking it daily for just over a year now and that's today's sponsor AG1 by Athletic Greens AG1 is a comprehensive convenient daily nutritional supplement with 75 vitamins minerals and whole food source ingredients that I find is made for just about everyone I drink it in the morning just before my morning coffee and I like that it kind of ensures that I'm giving my body everything it needs in order to perform at its best. Often out here, we're not eating the best foods. We're eating smoked meats, cheeses, dehydrated foods, things that might not have all the nutritional benefits that you'd want to be working all day in the tough conditions that we put ourselves into. And that's where AG1 comes in. I throw a whole bunch of these travel packs in my bag with me so I could just drink one every morning and it allows me to perform optimally. I love how it supports a healthy immune system, boosts your gut health, which in turn aids in brain function. <laughs> and it just gives me peace of mind that I'm giving everything that I can to my body in order to maximize my potential. Like I said, I love these travel packs for on the go and you guys can get some of these if you use the link down below. AG1 is offering five of these free travel packs as well as a year supply of vitamin D3 and K2 with your first purchase. So go use the link down below, guys, because honestly, you can't really put a price on health and happiness. Thanks to AG1 for sponsoring this video. Now back to the video. It's, it's, you can drink it like a coffee in, in the morning, you know? It's good stuff. The warm water actually kind of adds to it. And plus, it just feels good to, 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 to consume stuff that you know has especially lo out here lots of goodness in it for you. Especially out here when you're, uh, when you're basically, your diet's just bacon, you know? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's perfect for winter camping. <laughs> Steer it up, little darling. Steer it up, boom, 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 little darling. Steer it up, boom, 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 little darling. Well, steer it up. <laughs> Salami, bacon, green onions, cheese, and a little bit of chipotle sauce. Breakfast, lunch. <laughs> As you can see, slush is starting to form underneath the snow here. It's because we have such thin ice and such a heavy amount of snow. What happens is that heavy snow weighs down that ice, creates cracks, and then those cracks, water comes up, coats the bottom of the snow. The snow on top insulates that slush and then it doesn't freeze. So you get these uh, layers of slush on tops of lakes. Because we didn't have much of a freeze before that snow dumped, that ice isn't thick enough to support the weight of the snow and uh, it's gonna be a slushy, slushy year, unfortunately. It's gonna be a slushy, hike home.
So we finally got a good view of the lake now that it's day and it's absolutely gorgeous. I've never been down here, but I've been up there, up on that point, looking down in this place in the summer. Uh, it's got this chaotic charm to it. It'd be hard to paddle in the summer, but here in the winter, you can traverse it, so perfect time to be out here. Check it out, Max. Oh yeah. We're gonna go up that. We're trying to pluck our way up this hill. Small little steep sections. And uh, yeah, feeling kind of particularly lazy today. So going at a nice slow pace and just enjoying ourselves. What were the odds you gave yourself of getting up to the top, Dad? 30%. Oh, we're up there <laughs> to the top. <laughs> <laughs> Always a pleasure getting up high, even though this was only a 30-45 minute hike, the, uh, the view is very rewarding. Not much else to say, it's beautiful up here. Beautiful up here. Look at this valley. Legendary. Simba, everything that you can see that the sun touches is yours. When you're hot tenting, it's, it's like nice and warm, but you feel like yeah, enclosed and you can't even see the fire. Yeah, and yeah. When you're outside, it's like you get to enjoy the. Yeah. It's like vegetable oil and some seasoning. And then the other half of the dinner went back to the butchers. Well, no, I did one trip to the butchers. But another treat from the butchers. Beautiful cuts of steak. Whoa. Hey, there's eh? Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Ooh. That is one hell of a camp meal, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to say that's, I'm going to call that on the rare side. Actually, it's beautiful. Beautiful <sighs> rare steak on here outdoors in the, in the out, great outdoors. Two thumbs up. And some frozen sour cream. Mmm, no, it was good steak, eh? Mm. So we got a lot of hot chocolate here, and uh, we have a couple fellas that are craving some chocolate, so we're in a good position. Nice, man. Thank you. It's 
hot. <laughs> I don't think there's any other time or place that I've drinking hot chocolate in the last three years than, than when I'm winter camping. And it's so fitting. I broke my lens. What? It's just like, it just slides, oh, that's not good. I'm not sure what I did to my main lens, but uh, that's not supposed to happen. So we're gonna, we're gonna shoot on the backup lens for the rest of the day. It's a fixed 20 mil, so it's kind of wide angle. It's all we got, it's all we got. Ooh. Coffee. Mm. Ah. Oh, wow. Woo! Out of a makeshift breakfast, we were supposed to have eggs, but we do not. not <laughs> So pretty! Woo! So hard. So dense. So much heat in there. It's probably getting close to two o'clock. We've just been sitting around, now sipping coffee, enjoying ourselves thoroughly. We're gonna go climb this hill up here. There's a great view. Should take up the rest of the afternoon before uh, before we have to come back and sit around again. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been very chill. back up here. This is the view that inspired me to want to come back to this lake. It's very evident from up here just how scraggly and brushy it is. All those dead trees sticking out and then once you're down there it's quite marshy so not a canoe type of lake but definitely one to explore in the winter. Beautiful. <laughs> it's going down to negative 15-ish, maybe even as low as negative 20 tonight. We've got to get a healthy amount of wood to keep soaking the fire overnight. Just use a piece of paracord to make a little sawhorse. Great wood. When the work's all done and the sun's setting low, I pull up my fiddle and I'm rosin up the bow. The kids are asleep, so I keep it kind of low. Thank God I'm a country boy. Woo! Woo <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, 
It was quite the peculiar thing because we heard a dog barking just off here under the lake and we're pretty remote. There's no cottages around here. There's like a, a tough road to get back here that's unplowed and we heard a dog barking. Do wolves, can wolves sound like dogs? Is that a thing? Cause uh, there shouldn't be a dog out here. Yeah, I did. So uh, that that sounded more like a wolf. Could be a coyote. You guys in the comments, uh, let me know what that was. But it was barking before. I was quite curious. Anyways, we hope to hear it again. We heard it again. I mean, you must have heard that one. It sounds like a dog. Sort of sound like a dog, but it's like it was like howling. It was like a bit of a barky howl, though. It's weird. I don't know if wolves bark. They don't bark. <laughs> wolves do not bark. That's what I thought. So it's like, but I don't know what else it would be. pointed out that all the wood we have Yum. for the fire tonight is right there. It's pretty I, good. I pulled what we have. We're all doing hot chocolate again and let me tell you, sure is good. Hot chocolate by the fire winter camping. It's perfect. Talking squirrels. Oh man, that was good. Want another one? I do. Good morning everyone, it's 8 a.m. We're gonna just cook and have some coffee and get, get all packed up. <laughs> Make this slushy hike out. It's around 10.30, we're just packing up, heading out. We've got a big trip back and it includes potentially a very slushy lake and then a very snowy road. Perhaps a bigger adventure ahead. Okay, yeah. The going is quite quick right now. We're actually very lucky. We're in some snowmobile tracks. The snowmobile bill ripped by us a few minutes ago and uh, blazed a highway for us. No slush in sight. So we've been making really good time and things are the opposite of what we were fearing. There's no slush and we got a trail, so we're going quick. Oh! Look at that thing. Oh, broke a pole. 